others. Um, it's really important to know how to sneeze and cough in a way that protects other people. So we would prefer that you not cover your mouth with your hands when you're going to sneeze or cough, but instead if you could use your elbow, sneeze into your shoulder, even better if you could grab a tissue and put the tissue between you and your face. All of those things are going to really make a difference in terms of the respiratory spread of this kind of sickness. And I, I just have to remind you, if you've used a tissue, could you please throw it away and not leave it for somebody else to touch. So one of the most critical things you can do to keep yourself healthy is to wash your hands. And um, we wanted to be really clear about what we meant about washing hands. And so we, um, within the health center when we're teaching hand washing, we actually use our glow-in-the-dark hand wash solution. We allow people to cover their hands with the solution. Then they can practice washing their hands. And with the glow light, you can see where you missed. Uh, and it just helps people to understand what thorough hand washing involves. But I think if there was one thing people could do to keep themselves healthy, it would be to wash their hands anytime they think about it. If you can't wash your hands with soap and water, there's hand sanitizers everywhere. If you're in the health center, you see that you can't go more than about five feet without uh, um, a hand sanitizer. You'll see we have hand hygiene posters on every doorway. We um, know from decades of research that hand washing prevents the spread of disease. And if there was one thing I could get people to do on campus, it would be to wash their hands.